sketch a uh, pressure volume graph, uh, pre pressure volume diagram uh, of the following process. Okay, uh, two liter, okay, two liter of ideal gas at atmospheric pressure are cooled at constant pressure to a volume of one liter, and then expanded isothermally back to two liter, whereupon the pressure is changed at constant volume until the original pressure is reached. Okay, so here we need to see uh, how many processes are there. Uh, we need to identify how many process. So we have, um, we have uh, first of all, we have two liter cool at constant pressure. Okay, here is one, one process. Okay, uh, maybe put as uh, number one. And then uh, expanded isothermally back to two liter. Okay, here is another one. This is uh, number two. Okay, number two. And then uh, whereupon the pressure is changed at constant volume until the original pressure. Uh, so this is number three. So we have three process here. Okay, so we have three parts of graph we need to draw here. This is what graph? This is a pressure volume graph. Okay, so we need to label. You need to label this one as pressure, this one as volume. Besides that, you need to um, label the unit also. Huh? Okay, maybe I drop it a little bit down here. Okay. Um, yep. Yes, you need to uh, you need to uh, label the unit also. The pressure is what you need. He say at atmospheric pressure. Uh, yeah, here he say uh, using atmospheric pressure. So the unit of pressure is uh, the pressure is uh, atmospheric pressure. Uh, we don't didn't use Pascal here. Yeah, we use atmospheric pressure. So you need to label this one as atmospheric pressure. Uh, follow the questions yeah and then for the volume he say a uh, volume of one liter uh, so for volume it is in liter uh, yeah not meter cube uh, this one you need to label as liter okay uh, and then um, uh, now uh, we can plot first uh, we can plot first uh, the point yeah uh, about the value yeah the value uh, on the volume axis and the pressure axis we need to label also uh, label the value yeah so first of all you say two liter of ideal gas at atmospheric pressure cooled at constant pressure uh, to a volume of one liter so we have two liter and one liter that means uh, we can label this one uh, like this and label we have one liter, two liter. Maybe I put spaces. Okay, here is one liter. Uh, how I'm going to draw it? Yeah, maybe I space it. Uh, yeah, never mind. One liter, and this is uh, two liter. Yeah, one liter and two liter. And then we have um, uh, at two liter is look at look at the whole questions. Then we can uh, know which plot the point plot. 2 liter at atmospheric pressure and then uh, then uh, uh, we have 2 liter uh, back to original pressure okay expanded isothermally back to this 2 liter okay never mind so we have a uh, 2 liter uh, 2 liter at atmospheric pressure maybe we put like over here yeah more over here Okay, as you can see, it's very hard to uh, find the, about the pressure, isn't it? Uh, you just say about atmospheric pressure here, and then we didn't say the pre pressure at other points. So what you can do is, uh, you very hard to find the, the point to, uh, you know, put the label, the, you have very hard to find the value of pressure to label here. So what you can do is, first of all, you don't need to label, okay? Uh, you don't need to label the value first. You try to draw out. Uh, draw out the process uh, and estimate what does the shape of graph looks like. Ah, draw out the graph first. Draw out the graph first, then you can know that or oh, how the about the pressure changes here. Yeah. So first of all, uh, I want you to uh, this. We have three process here. Identify what kind of process is this. Okay. So for the first, for the first graph. 
Okay, so for the first process, uh, what is the process? Is it yeah? He say it uh, cooled uh, at constant pressure. Ah, these are the keywords we need to look out for. Uh, I need to highlight. So for the first process, it's about constant pressure, and then second process is about uh, expanded isothermal uh, isothermal expansion, and then for the third process is constant volume. Ah, constant volume. So uh, I can label. Okay, for the first process about constant pressure, this is about isobaric process. Isobaric process, constant pressure. And, and then this one, second one is isothermal, uh, constant temperature. Okay, and then for, for uh, the third one is constant volume. Uh, constant volume is uh, isochoric process or isovolumetric process. Okay, uh, so... You don't know how to label about the pressure label value here never mind you first roughly draw out how the shape looks like and then we can rub it off yeah so uh let's say uh okay you have a two liter maybe i can just roughly plot here uh, two liter over here uh atmospheric pressure maybe uh, over here uh, uh, MS, you say atmospheric pressure yeah atmospheric pressure that means it is at one atmospheric pressure lah. Uh, one atmospheric pressure. So we just put this one as one atmospheric pressure. Okay. Uh, so at, at first it start from here, two liter or so, and then cool, uh, cool at constant pressure. So for isobaric constant pressure, it must remain at this line. Understand? Uh, cool at constant pressure, isobaric, the pressure must be constant, and then uh, cool. That means it must go to to this side. Understand? Uh, it's, it's going to the left hand side, not going to the right hand side. Uh, not, not this one, yeah, but this one. Uh, because why? Because uh, according to, to this one, you see, look at the, uh, the graph. Uh, when, the, when the point going further and further away from the pressure and volume axis, when going further and further away from axis, the, pressure, the temperature increase. Understand? The temperature increase. Uh, from 300 Kelvin, 400 Kelvin, 500 Kelvin. So, uh, we know that the isobaric process, uh, isobaric process, uh, this is the one, isobaric process means the pressure is constant. Uh, pressure is constant. So, if you go from uh, left to right, the temperature increase. You see that? Uh, from 300 to 400, the temperature increase. But you go to the, to the left, the temperature decrease. Uh, the temperature decrease. You go to the right, the temperature increase. Uh, so you if getting hotter, getting hotter is going to the right. Getting colder is going to the left. Uh, yeah, if you're going to the left means you're going nearer to the axis already. Uh, going nearer to the axis, like this one, you see, when you're going nearer to the axis, it's getting colder. And uh, getting further away from the axis means getting hotter. Okay? So uh, yeah, now I'm talking about the first process, isobaric. Okay, so he say it's being cooled. Uh, it's being cooled. You see that? It's being cooled. So it's being cooled means uh, going to the right or going to the left. Ah, uh, yeah. Maybe you can draw out the you know the isothermal line like that. You see, uh, isothermal line. Uh, yeah, we put this as 300 Kelvin, this is a 400 Kelvin, and this is a 500 Kelvin. Uh, so he says, he says that uh, uh, this gas is being cooled at constant pressure. Constant pressure, that means it must maintain at the one atmospheric pressure. It must maintain at this, this line. Okay, uh, so cooled means uh, going to the, yeah, let's say you start from this point. Okay, start from this point. I'm sorry. Uh, let's say start from this point. Okay, you should uh, go to the left or go to the right. Uh, if you go to the left, it's getting, it's being cold. Uh, getting cold is being, uh, it's being, uh, so not cold, it's cooled. Uh, yeah. But if you go to the right, means getting hotter uh, or heated. Understand? Uh, because uh, you go to the left, means you go from. 400 Kelvin to 300 Kelvin is being cold. But if you go to the right, means uh, you go from 400 Kelvin to 500 Kelvin is being heated. 
Ah, so so he says here, he say cool, cool at constant pressure. Cool at constant pressure means that means he must go to the left. Understand? He must go to the left. Ah, uh, so ah, uh, okay. Conclusion. Conclusion. We can wrap all this. Ah, uh, that means it go, it go to the. It should go to the to this to this to here. Ah, uh, go to the left. So from here, go to here. Okay. Ah, uh, he cooled to the uh, he cooled at constant pressure to one liter. Ah, uh, one liter. So so actually ah, uh, uh, draw cool to this uh, it start from here isn't it it start from here and then go to here i uh, go to here so that means uh, maybe i should put a thermal line over here uh, okay so it, it goes from from this point to this point uh, so it goes to this point understand uh, go from two liter to one liter yeah two liter to one liter so go from here to here okay and then, okay, we finish about the first process. Now the second process, he said expanded isothermally back to two liter or expanded. Expanded, expanded means expansion. Expansion means uh, uh, about the volume. Volume is the, the horizontal axis. Horizontal axis. That means if you go to the right, means expansion. Go to the left is compression. Understand? Uh, so he said, here he said, I expand, expanded, uh, expanded. That means the graph should go, should go to the, should go to the right. Uh, should go. Uh, this is uh, expansion. Uh, yeah, expansion is uh, go to the right. You see that? Uh, but then he said isothermal. Isothermal. That means must maintain at caught the same temperature. Maintain at the same isothermal line. Uh, isothermal process is like this graph. Ah, this is the graph. This is the isothermal process. Uh, so you see this graph. Uh, he move along the same isothermal line means it maintain at same temperature four hundred Kelvin. Understand or not? Uh, so is the graph is either going up the isothermal line or going down the isothermal line. Uh, as long as it's moving in the same isothermal line, means it maintained at the same temperature. Okay, uh, like this one, this is expansion. Uh, like from uh, one to two is expansion because you go from uh, 10, 10 meter cube to twenty meter cube uh, expansion. But if you go from two to one, is compression. Two to one is compression because you go from twenty to ten. Okay. Ah, so he said expanded, expanded, uh, back to two liter. So you, the, your graph, yeah, you, you, yeah. Now you are over here. Now you are over here. Okay. Now you are over here. So you should go, uh, uh, uh expansion or compression. You should go down or go up. Uh, which one? You should, you should go down or go up. If you go down. Means you expansion uh, from one liter to two liter, but if you go up, means it's compression going less than one liter. Understand or not? Uh, going, you know, going to the going to the left is compression, going to the right is expansion. So the graph does not does not. Uh, so the graph does not go up. The graph does not go up, but it go down. Yeah, or we can say go to the right. Go to the right is expansion. Ah, uh, he go back to the two liter, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, he go back to the two liter. That means he go back to the ah uh, two liter point over here. Yeah, so he go back ah uh, from here to here, back to two liter. Two liter is the original volume during the first process. Okay, ah, uh, go to the two liter. So expansion. Okay, expand isothermally. Expand isothermally means that means expand at a constant temperature. Expand. But maintain at the same isothermal line, uh, so it maintain at three hundred Kelvin. Understand or not? Uh, this one three hundred Kelvin is just a, it's just a. I uh, just simply put the value, yeah. Not not necessarily three hundred Kelvin, yeah. So uh, it goes to two liter, okay. Uh, so the graph does not go up or go to the left, but the graph go to the right or go down, okay. So uh, this is the second process. Now the third process uh, is isochoric or constant volume. 
Ah, constant volume. Ah. Constant volume, that means it must maintain. Now you are already in the 2 liter. Ah, you are at the 2 liter, that means you are already at this point. Okay, at this point, to start the third process, you are at the 2 liter point. Start over here. Okay, so uh, from here, from here, you maintain constant volume. Maintain constant volume, that means you maintain at 2 liter. Uh, that means you maintain at maintain at this line uh, maintain at this line this vertical line ah uh, understand uh, again i draw uh, maintain at this line ah uh, okay so uh, just now isobaric uh, this is uh, I iso volumetric if isobaric is maintain at constant pressure uh, do you see that ah uh, okay uh, now it's isochoric. Isochoric that means it maintain at the same volume. So now uh, he said pressure is changed uh, at constant volume, but pressure is increase or decrease. Uh, pressure is increase or decrease. Uh, I say change until you reach the original pressure. Uh, original pressure means at the first uh, atmospheric pressure. Uh, first atmospheric pressure that means you the pressure actually increase. Uh, pressure actually increase uh, so here you say change actually is increase uh, is in the pressure is increased yeah pressure pressure is increased uh, because you want to reach the original pressure because at this point at this point is actually at the lower pressure lower pressure so your pressure has to increase back to the original pressure uh, what atmospheric pressure okay uh, so the graph, uh, remember the uh, the 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 when the graph uh increase when the graph go up. Look at here. Uh, uh this one, when the graph go up, the means the pressure increase. Graph go down means pressure decrease. Uh, uh, graph go to the right means volume increase. Graph go to the left means volume decrease. Uh, go to the right means expansion go to the left means uh, compression uh, the graph going away from the both axes going away from pressure and volume means temperature increase uh, or getting hotter uh, just remember this very simple thing going up pressure increase going right volume increase going away from axis temperature increase remember this is the just the easiest thing yeah so for this one just now he say uh, pressure is increased uh, until you reach the original pressure. Uh, so the graph should uh, uh, isochoric that means maintain at the same uh, vertical line at two liter. So the graph go up. And uh, sorry, uh, the graph go up. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, that that's that's the rough that's the rough uh, graph. So we have uh, the first graph. This one is first. Uh, sorry, uh, this this is the first graph, and this is the second graph, and this is the third graph. Now we draw properly. Yeah, we already sketch. Uh, you can actually easily draw like this, going like that, going down, going up. Ah, uh, so you uh, know uh, what you're going to draw. Then only you draw properly, lah. Uh, then only you draw properly. Uh, okay. Now let's draw properly. Okay, uh, now I draw properly. So uh, we have pressure, volume, pressure at atmospheric pressure. Volume is uh, in liter form. Okay, uh, we have um, we have one liter, uh, two liter. Okay, and then uh, atmospheric pressure. Uh, maybe I put over here uh, one atmospheric pressure. Okay, and then uh, originally is start from two liter here. Then he say, uh, go to here. That means uh, this is the one. Uh, this is the first process. Uh, uh, ISO, the first process. And then, okay. Um, because maintain at the same, you know, same uh, tem temperature. Eh, no, same pressure. Same pressure. Okay. Uh, same pressure. And then uh, he drop. Uh, okay. Then based on the same isothermal line, based same on the same isothermal line. Ah, okay. 
So uh, just now this is the first process. Isobaric. Okay. Uh, isobaric. And then uh, and then after that is uh, second process is uh, isothermal expansion. Isothermal expansion that means go from this point, this point to this point. Okay, go back to two liter. That means go back down. This is second process. So this is a uh, isothermal expansion. Isothermal expansion. Okay, and then uh, go. Uh, then pressure is increased back to the original pressure. Increase back to what atmospheric pressure? So increase back. Uh, increase back. So this is the third. Yeah, the, what, uh, the graph must maintain at the same, you know, the same uh, volume line, the same volume, constant volume. Okay. Uh, this graph. Ah, okay. Um, so uh, this is the third, the third uh, isochoric. Okay. Um, all uh, right. Um, so just, just the, this uh, graph over here, I don't know what pressure is this. I don't know. Yeah, it didn't say what pressure is it. Put a constant pressure to one liter. But it didn't say what value is this, so just ignore. Yeah, we don't know what value. So, uh, so uh, we can put as this one as uh, this one as temperature one. This one temperature two. Of course, temperature two is higher than temperature one. Okay. Uh, isobaric, isobaric, uh, isothermal, isochoric. Yeah, same pressure. Same temperature, same volume. You see, same pressure line, same temperature line, same temperature line, same volume line, uh, same volume line. Okay. Um. Uh. All right. So that's all for discussions. Uh, this is the graph. This is the graph. Okay. See you.